Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to implement working with multiple tables. And here we got the final output and notice the country names become the hyperlinks. When I click India, see the state names of country ID 1, Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. If I click Australia, country ID is 3 and state name is um, New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in MVC, first we will check the tables in SQL Server Management Studio. For this example, I am taking two tables. One is a country name which contains two columns, CID and CNAME. And the second table which is a state name which contains three columns state id country id and state name and the second column cid is mapped to the country name table cid column so my aim is when a user click the india i want to display the state names of the india let's start a coding part for this video tutorial i'm creating a new mvc project go to file new project I'm choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1 the application name is multiple tables MVC click OK and from the templates I'm choosing MVC 4 click OK And here the project is successfully created. Let's close this window. First, we'll add the tables to the data entity model in this project. Open Solution Explorer. I right click the project name. Add ADO.NET Entity Data Model. I'm selecting that one. The item model name is multiple model ok and from the model contents I'm selecting the first one next creating a new connection I'm adding my SQL server name and now I'm selecting the database name which is a sample db test connection is succeeded ok ok and I want to save this connection string in the web.config file next from the database objects I'm expanding the tables as well as the db bow. our table names is a country name the first one and the second table name is a state name this one so I have selected two tables finish and here the both tables are added now let's create a new controller open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references folder I'm creating a new controller in this controllers folder right click that one add controller I'm selecting MVC file controller empty add the controller name is multiple tables add now in this controller first I am binding the data from the country name in the action result index I'm adding my connection string object sample db entries sd is equals to new sample db entries I'm adding list class inside this list class I'm adding my table name which is a country name cn object is equals to sd dot country names dot to list method and the return view is a list object cn 
Now let's add an index view page. But before creating a view page, let's build this solution. And here we got the message build succeeded. Let's close this window. Highlight the index method, right click that one. Add view. The view name is index only and the template I'm selecting the list, the model class is the country name, the data context class which is my connection string sample db entities, add. And here we got the index view page also. What I'm doing, I'm deleting this action link which I don't require. That's it, we have binded the country name, C name. Let's check the output before adding the state names. But before run this application, we need to change the, our controller name. I'm expanding the app underscore start, route config.cs, open that one. And notice the controller name is a home, I'm deleting that one. Our controller name is a multiple tables. Copy and I'm pasting here. The action page is the index only, which is this one. Let's check the output, Google Chrome. And here we got the output of the country names displayed in the index view page. Now my next step is, I'll make these country names as a hyperlinks. When a user clicks this particular country name, I want to display those particular state names of the country name. Let's quickly switch over to the MEC application. We'll finish the rest of the code. And stop debugging. Switch to the controller. Now in this controller, I'm creating a new action result for the state names. Public action result state name. I'm adding the data type in 32 for CID sample db entities as d is equals to new sample db entities. I have created an object for the connection string list class. Now here I'm adding the state name table name sn is equals to sd dot state names dot where class x is equals to x dot cid we are fetching the records from the country ids double equals to this data type object cid dot to list method return view sn that's it the coding part in the controller now we'll create a view page for the state name highlight the state name right click add view the view name is a state name only and the template I'm selecting the list just we did before also for the country class, for the country name, the model class is the state name here. And the data context class is a sample db entities only. Add. And here we got the view page of the state name. I'm deleting this action links create and uh, edit details and delete also. Switch to the index.cshtml. Notice here the display for we are displaying the country names, but I want to make this as an action link. So I'm deleting this one at html.action link. The first parameter is the string link text. 
so item dot cine comma the string action name between double quotes I am adding the action result method state name comma new we are fetching the records based on the country IDs CID is equals to item dot CID that's it we have done the complete coding part let's read on the browser and here we got the final output and notice the country names become the hyperlinks when I click India see the state names of country ID 1 Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh if I click Australia country ID is 3 and state name is New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland that's it